hello everyone today we are going to look uh, into the topic and the topic called optimize uh, uh, temporary table usage okay so where we have to see this uh, temporary table usage first we have to open our table what are the table that we have created and after that you have to come back to the properties okay come to the properties you'll be able to see just click on the table and right click on the table and if you just click on properties you'll be able to see this properties window okay and here there is one property called table type okay just expand this so you will be able to see regular in memory and temp db okay so basically the temporary tables are two here one is a in memory and one is a temp db okay so what temporary tables do is it allows you to efficiently create and clean up temporary data okay so here is a place where you can able to see uh, two temporary ta uh, data called as a in memory and temp db so let's uh, just discuss few things about a in memory table and we'll uh, we'll just discuss after that about temp db okay so temp db uh, in memory table might be used uh, when you need to store and retrieve data without writing data into database means it will not store uh, in memory table type it will not store whatever the data uh, it will not store in the database okay this is something called like a container but in memory tables allow you to use indexes to speed up the data retrieval okay and also uh, one more thing that i have to tell you is in memory tables use an indexed uh, sequential access method so that is uh, so called as a isam isam uh, so this is like uh, it's use an index sequential access method okay and coming to temp db temp db tables use the temp db uh, database of the sql server and this type of table causes the data to be removed when it is no longer used by current method or when system is restarted uh, and also uh, regular tables are automatically turned into temp db tables by disabling the config i mean configuration key for the table i mean we have a, a configuration key here let me just show you uh, just give me a moment so there is a uh, configuration key property see here there is a configuration key property right so uh, once again i'm repeating uh, this statement that regular tables are automatically turned into temp db when when these regular tables are turned into temp db because by disabling the configuration key for the table if we disable the configuration key for this particular tables so it will become a temporary table okay which allows references to uh, the disabled table in the system to continue to compile and run so and uh, i'll tell you some uh, capabilities of temp db tables okay so it's like you can join to a regular table i mean you can create some joints to a regular table or you can use a foreign keys uh you can just uh, have some index or we can just use a uh, queries use i mean it is used as a queries so these type of things that you can um, you know use it with uh, i mean there are some capabilities that with the uh, uh, temp db and we have some limitations also parallelly okay we as now just we have discussed about the capabilities of temp db but in the same way we have some limitations of temp db something like uh, we cannot get to like inability to manage some data effective uh, like data effective data and uh, they do not contain some delete actions right i mean the uh, temp db if you use a table type of temp db so you cannot use uh, i mean you, this cannot contain delete actions and if you want to apply some record level securities also you will not able to uh, i mean it we cannot apply on uh, temp db and also you cannot use uh, them in views okay if you just make uh, your table type as uh, temp db here 
if you just make this uh, table type of or as a tmdb what will happen means you cannot use them in views also okay so this is uh, um, i think this is really very helpful uh, session that describes uh, the difference between uh, this uh, temporary tables and also how to optimize this uh, temporary table usage thank you so much bye